This is a picture of me. Yeah, I'm ugly, I know. It was taken a couple of years ago on a digital camera and saved to an SD card, like most of her pictures taken nowadays, at least professionally, because the vast, vast majority of pictures taken nowadays are taken on phones. But before these digital methods, people had to get their photos taken on film, which you had to get developed. Here's one of my dad taken 30 years ago when he was in the army. Earlier than that, most photos were in black and white, like this one of my great-great-grandmother taken when she was a baby. So as you can tell, this portrait is beyond old. Even then, it was still taken on film, but photography goes back almost a century before the birth of film. There were tin types, like this one I have right here. This is so old that my family has no idea who it is. It was just found in an old photo album. So I'm probably related to her, but man, she would be so disappointed in me right now. Older than tin types are ambrotypes, which I don't have any of, and even older than that are daguerreotypes, the oldest photographic process that the general public had access to. And boy, am I lucky to have one in my possession. It's surreal seeing one up close. Daguerreotypes have a shiny, mirror-like property to them, and the image is super sharp. This one in particular was taken sometime in the 1840s, the same decade that many famous historical figures had their first photographs taken, including presidents, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, and John Tyler. However, all of these presidents didn't get photographed until after they were out of office, so the first portrait of a sitting president goes to James K. Polk. Or does it? Because according to legend, our ninth president, William Henry Harrison, got photographed the day he got inaugurated in 1841. Which would not only make him the first sitting president on camera, but the first president in general to be on camera, predating Quincy Adams by a year. Unfortunately though, no one knows what happened to this historic picture. So let's investigate this mystery, and look at some possibilities to what could have happened to William Henry Harrison's photograph. Okay, so before we dive into this mystery, here's some context on the man himself, William Henry Harrison. He was the last president to be born before the revolution in 1773. Harrison became a general by the early 1800s and fought in the War of 1812 and various other wars against Native American tribes. Safe to say, he did some pretty fucked up shit back in the day, which led to a legend of him being cursed by a Native American prophet that I can't pronounce, but that's a story for another day. Eventually, years later, in 1836, Harrison decides to run for president and loses to Martin Van Buren. But old Willie doesn't give up and runs again in 1840, winning the presidency at the age of 67. I think you all know where this is going. Harrison takes office the following year, gives a super long speech at his inauguration, supposedly gets his picture taken, and dies only one month after taking office. For years, everyone thought that he died of pneumonia, which he must have caught by giving his long speech. But recent studies have suggested that he might have died from unsanitary water in the White House. Nonetheless, Harrison was the shortest lived president. And not only that, but also the first to die in office. Not really an accomplishment most people would want. But because of his untimely death, alongside photography being brand new in 41, we don't have any photographs of him to look at, over some of Quincy Adams, Jackson, and others despite being born almost a decade earlier than Harrison since they managed to live long enough to 1845 and 48 respectively. So this mysterious picture of Willie I was talking about earlier would be the only one we would have of him since again in 41, photography would have only been available to the general public for like two years up to that point and it was invented in France and slowly spread across the world. His inauguration would have been the only possible time in which Harrison could have gotten his picture taken. So as you can tell, the stakes are high. Oh, and in case you're googling stuff up right now and come across this famous image, as hard as it is to believe, it's actually a daguerreotype of a realistic painting taken in the 1850s. And with that, let's look at some theories of what could have really happened to this portrait. Theory 1. It's in someone's collection, waiting to be discovered. 
Up until a couple of years ago, we thought that this right here was the oldest photograph of John Quincy Adams, POTUS number 6. But then a guy looked through his parents' belongings in the 90s and came across a picture of an old man, who he believed to be a family member. Little did he know, though, that this was actually the oldest surviving picture of Quincy Adams. He then sold it for almost half a million dollars. So could something like this have happened to Harrison's portrait? Well, it's possible, but we can't exactly prove or debunk this theory unless we find it, or find evidence that it was destroyed. Speaking of which... Theory 2. The photo was lost to time. Many, many early mediums have unfortunately been lost over the years. The first tin foil that recorded the voice of Edison singing Mary Had a Little Lamb, many ancient texts, and a crap ton of early films are all gone for good. Heck, we even lost quite a few pictures of Quincy Adams, some possibly even older than what I talked about earlier, so it's not too far-fetched to conclude that the Harrison portrait met a similar fate. Although, while doing all my research for this video, I couldn't find a single source saying anything about you know, uh, anything happening to it, not about fires, or wars, or someone just being clumsy. So while this is unfortunately a very real possibility, there's still hope. Theory 3. The painting we saw at the beginning of this video was in fact a real photograph and not just a painting. But if that's the case, how is there a painting that looks just like it? Well, the theory goes that this painting was modeled after the daguerreotype, but the problem here is that using a daguerreotype for a model for a painting would be nearly impossible in the 1840s, since you need a lot of light to see one of these things clearly. It'd be tough to see, let alone model a painting off of one of these things, but there is a slight possibility. If you look at the differences between these two closely, you see that the photograph looks a lot more realistic, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense if it was just a daguerreotype of a painting. Maybe it being black and white is the only reason it looks like this, or maybe this is the lost picture we've been looking for all along. Probably not though, since we have a date of when it was taken, and all those points I made earlier about the difficulty of modeling a painting after the daguerreotype. Theory 4. This legendary picture never existed in the first place. There is a very real possibility that Harrison actually never got his photo taken at his inauguration at all. Some have suggested that someone saw the before mentioned daguerreotype of the painting and thought it was a real photo of Harrison. Then they told others about it and that's where the legend came from. Plus, in 1841, photography was in its infancy, and most politicians and upper-class people didn't start to have their pictures taken until the mid-1840s. Throughout all my research, though, I didn't see any instances of people either having quotes or diary entries or names of a photographer or anything at all, which only further solidifies this possibility. The biggest problem with solving this case, however, is that it will probably never be solved unless someone finds this item in their attic or something. Until then, though, we can't really debunk or prove any of these theories I mentioned. Well, except for maybe the third one. And if anyone has any of their own theories, feel free to post them in the comments, because I might make a follow-up to this. For the meantime, everyone look in your attics and maybe you'll find something beyond belief. This has been Alpha Leaf Mysteries.